Hallelujah, somebody. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. In thy word of God, there is power. In the name of Jesus, every name must bow. In the word of God, in the word of God, hallelujah. There is a great anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, every knee must bow in the word of God, in the word of God, hallelujah. There is power in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Come on, somebody sing with me. In the word of God, hallelujah. There is power in the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow in the word of God. In the word of God, hallelujah. There is power in the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow. Amen, somebody. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. I bless you all once again in the mighty name of Jesus. This is your usual host, Mrs. Evangelist Egon. I thank God Almighty for making me to see this present moment, for sustaining me to this present seconds and moments of life. Hallelujah. And I say thank God, you who is watching me right now, for God Almighty to sustain you up to this moment. We say may his name be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Quickly, I want to speak on the word of God, which I try to always be vigilant and sober. Amen. Always be vigilant and sober. Amen. Before we go for the word of God, I have a scripture to read and we will use it to pray. Come with me to the book of Psalm 56. We are going to read the book of Psalm 56 verses 5 and 6. If you don't have a Bible with you there, I want you to post this video recording. You go and get your Bible and, you know, start reading it with me. Amen, somebody. Always be vigilant and sober. Amen. And I read, I'm using Good News Version. It says, My enemy makes make trouble for me all day long. They are always planning how to hurt me. They gather in hiding place, places and watch everything I do, hoping to kill me. Let us pray with this. Heavenly Father, King of kings, Lord of lords, eternal rock of ages, the great I am that I am, the Buddha burned and never consumed. Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Jari, my great provider, the God of our ancestors, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God that parted the Red Sea, the God of war, the Buddha burned and never consumed. Baba, once again, we thank you for making us to see this present moment, for giving us this golden opportunity through your mercies and your grace for the breath of life. Father, we say, may your name may be glorified in Jesus' name. As your word is about to come, Father, I, I just, you know, empty myself for you to enter me right now, feed me right now, speak to me right now. Because whatever I'm going to say, let me not speak even a word of my own. Father, throughout this message, let it is what you put in me that I have to give to your children. And as many that are listening to the sound of my voice right now, I say, Father, quicken their spirit. Any spirit that will make them, you know, not to pay attention, not to be focused for this little word of exhortation I'm about giving to them. Father, let that spirit vanish out of their life right now. Arrest them now. Make them, you know, to submit to this one word of God that is about to be given to them right now. Open their mind to, to know everything concerning this word. So that at the end, all the glory and adoration will be given to you, Almighty God. But by every spirit of devourer, we render all impotent. We command them to silence 
under the authority of God Almighty in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We give you all the honor. For in Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. As I initially said, I want to speak on the word of God, which I titled, Always be vigilant and sober. As a child of God, I will not so much, you know, go to the scripture to read, but I will give you a quotation. As I will lay emphasis on such, on any episode on a, on a scripture I will give, I will make a summary, but I want you to write it down and you have to go and read it on your own. This is the word of God. The word of God is here. Amen. The Bible says heaven and earth will pass away. This word of God will remain the same. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, I came up with such an exhortation because of so many things that is happening at there today in the life of the children of God. Where I read before I went for prayer, and I want to repeat it again for you to listen attentively, pause it, take a pen, take a barrel, and have a book, notes, and take your Bible for you to study it together with me. In the book of Psalm 56, where I read that my enemies... They make trouble for me all day long. They are always planning how to hurt me. They gather in hiding places and watch everything I do, hoping to kill me. Amen. This is just a simple tense that I read to your hearing concerning enemies of progress in the life of the children of God. Here where I read the enemy, many occasions, they are trying to provoke us. They are trying to push us to fall a victim of circumstances. Hallelujah. And when they, they, they use their evil power to, to throw as an arrow to the children of God, they went to hiding places. Sometimes they send their spiritual forces to be monitoring us on how those evil will begin to function in the life of the children of God. And when they are luckily they succeed, you see them jubilating. But I'm here to tell somebody that is out there, you who is watching me, having this golden opportunity to tune into this, you know, video clip, wherever you are watching it from, whether it is from Facebook or from YouTube, or you are watching it from Messenger on that Facebook, wherever you are watching it from, I want you, please, after listening, don't just use it to bless yourself alone. Subscribe it and also send it to people. Let them know that we have a nice message from where you subscribe from and tell them to also subscribe so that any new any new message i give before you know it you it will appear from the background where you subscribe from hallelujah somebody here the enemy they are there hallelujah when you allow them as a child of god to get hold of you when you open your door for them to get hold of you definitely they will get hold of you but i'm here to give you some examples that you have to stand on and follow as a child of God so that they will not see an opportunity to get hold of you. Hey, mercy here. He said, my enemies, they make trouble for me all day long. They always planning, underline that word planning, on how to hurt me. Hey, Amen. Hurt you in the sense that we can see human, physical. Somebody hurting you. It's not only that. We have been seeing sickness. We are seeing a sorrow. We are seeing death. We are seeing poverty. We see pain. We are seeing so many things. Though those things is not things that children of God should experience as a child of God. We don't need them in our individual life. There are so many things that are out there that the children of God they are facing today. Amen, somebody. Here the Bible de they de it declare it that the enemy, they are all enemies. Sickness is an enemy. Death is an enemy. Sorrow is an enemy. Poverty is an enemy. Pain is an enemy. Hallelujah, somebody. If a human being that is there as an obstacle want to make sure they destroy your reputation, the calling of God in your life can never be fulfilled. They don't want you to testify. They don't want to see you, you know, living as a great person. Amen. So we are here this hour to study the word of God together, to save the scripture. Many things like this have happened to the children of God of those days in the scripture. So when we see the scripture, we see how it happened to them, the example we have to take, what we have to learn in order for we not to fall a victim of circumstances. That is why I title it, you have to, you know, always be sober and vigilant. We need to be focused as a child of God. We need to be prayerful. We need, you know, to stand on that word of God. We need to look unto heaven where our help are coming from. All these things are the guidelines we need to use to cover ourselves. 
Hallelujah. So that the presence of God can be upon us. So that all these things, we never see chance to come into our life and get hold of us. There are so many. Amen. Quickly, I want to still give you the, read the book of Lamentation. For you to see what enemies are doing. Not only in human form. In every ramification, sickness. As I earlier said, there's so many things is happening in the body, in, in the life of the children of God today. So we need to know what to do in order for we not to fall a victim or such circumstances. So that we cannot be saying, I don't know where is the God I'm serving. In that word of God, there is a great anointing. When you stick to that word, you always come out with a testimony. Because his word is here, amen. What he says about you that the thought he has for you is for good, it's not for evil. To reach and a good expected end. Whatever you are looking unto God for, when you stick to the word of God, when you study the scripture, you began to stand on it and began to apply it. See where those things will go. Even though you see they're coming, as you, as you stand on your feet and begin to rebuke and reject it, they will never manifest in your life. You will see them if they are coming. The book of Isaiah chapter 15 says, He will lift you up. Verse 19, all those things they will pass by. They will never be your portion. Whatever the daughter says about you, they will always say, but it will not manifest in your life. As a child of God who obey God, who look unto God alone, he cannot, he does not divide to left or right. He's not serving God and serving idol. This is where you will not see the presence of God. Because where there is the presence of God, there are fullness of joy, there are liberty, there are freedoms. Amen. Somebody. I want to quickly read the book of Lamentation, chapter 2. I want to, to, to focus on the verse 16. Amen. Meanwhile, I'm still using Good News Version. Whatever version you are using, read it, provided you have an understanding of what they wrote there. Amen. It says, I read, Lamentation, chapter 2, verse 16. Say, all oh, your enemies mock you and glare at you with hate. Underline that word, hate. They cry, they call their lips and snare. We have destroyed it. Did you see it? He said, This is the day we have been waiting for. You can just imagine. They have been waiting for your downfall, waiting for you not to see a breakthrough. Immediately they see you testifying. Now lie, they are not happy. They are gathering on how to subdue you. There are forces of darkness there. There are still in form of humor. There are all these sicknesses and so many things. Quickly, let us. See some scriptures here. I wrote so many things here. Where I will stop. Let us quickly start with Jeremiah. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 18, we have seen where God was using this prophet Jeremiah. If you read from verse 1 anyway, God sent Jeremiah to the potter's house. When he got there, he was waiting for the message of God. But after waiting, he began to focus on that man molding that, pot, that potter's man. He saw it as he's molding it. Some clay will fall out. But his own motive is to mold those things to the shape he wants them to be. That pot to be. But some, they are stop only. They will jump out. Hallelujah. Then he will take them somewhere because they are not useful any longer. They are fall on the in the sun where there are dirty mold uh, stick so many things where he cannot add it to the former one that is where he jumped out of. From there, God let Jeremiah know that the children of Israel, we are talking of me and you. We who say we are the child of God, we belong to you know the children of Israel of today. Amen. Does not mean you are not from Israel, you are not the child of God, you are not from the Israelites. Amen. We are being recognized as those that believe in God Almighty and confess with our mouth and believe in our hearts. Amen. Hallelujah. From there, God sent Jeremiah to go and, you know, to tell them he's going to deal with them. He's going to bring disasters upon them. Instead of them to go on their knees to say, Father, we are sorry for where we have offended you. Help us, O oh Lord, to break us to pieces and remove us to the shape you want us to be. They began to plan on how they are going to assassinate Jeremiah to bury him. They were planning on how to have a new, you know, priest who will help them, a new prophet. They want to use their own mindset now. Why do I come with such an exhortation? Remember we are read today. These are the enemies. They want to kill you. They are looking on how you will die. They are being in a corner. They have turned to monitoring spirit. There are some forces of darkness the enemy have sent to all these Christians of today. Because these Christians, they don't stand on the word of God. They are not prayerful. They are not, you know, they will put one leg in the house of God, in this of God. They will now put one leg in the worldly things. Because of this, they are not effective. The Holy Spirit is unable to guide them because they are not submissive to the, you know, to the principles of God. Amen. 
You are a child of God. You are listening to the sound of my voice. I'm using Jeremiah chapter 18. Read from verse 1 there. But where I want you to focus on is from verse 18. Where they were planning evil against Jeremiah. It is happening in the house of God today. It is happening in our family today. It is happening in every society we go. You will see somebody you want to advise as a mature person, as your child, as your, as your mother, as your father, as your husband, as your wife, as your sister, as your brethren. In, I encourage you then tell it then when you see them going astray, what they are doing is not good. Before you know it, they will be planning on how to dig the ground and put you inside. To say, who are you? Who gave you the authority to be, you know, controlling me? Amen. But I'm here to tell you, child of God, you need to be focused. You need to be vigilant. You need to be sober. All these kind of people like the days of Jeremiah, they are in the house of God. They are there to spoil things for God. But when you are correcting them, they are looking for a pit to dig you and put you. They can may not come physically. Many will plan to witchcraft. But remember, the Bible says in number 23, 23, there is no enchantment that can defeat the house of Jacob. You are the child of Jacob. You are the child of God. Hallelujah, somebody. So I'm here to use this to encourage us. I don't know who is listening to the sound of my voice. Are you a child of God? Are you sober? Are you vigilant? Because of your truth that you speak out of your mouth, in your family's background, in, your, in the house of God where you are fellowshipping, in the area where you are working, they are there to say, who gave you the authority? Who, who are you to correct me? Don't you know I'm an bishop? Whatever I do, you have to take it like that. These were the children of God. They were misbehaving. When God saw it, he now, God was furious. He sent his, his prophet to go and deliver a message to them. Because of the message he delivered, the word of God is for correction. It's to put you through. It is to put those things that is having an error, correct it then, to be fixed well in the normal position. But today, when you are trying to correct certain things in the house of God, when you are not careful, you are finished. If they cannot deal with you physically, they will deal with you spiritually. They will ask you, who are you? But I'm here to tell you, when you stand on that lane of God, whatever you are doing, you know that is the truth of what you believe that God sent you to deliver as I'm doing so. You don't have problem. But if you are the type that will put one leg outside the things of God and put one leg inside, the enemy will get hold of you. Whatever you want to use to correct them, they are there, you know, to finish you. So be sober and vigilant. And it is always, you have to make sure you are always sober. You are always vigilant. Amen, somebody. Moving on, I want to go to another scripture of Daniel. The former one was Jeremiah chapter 18. You read from verses 1. You will see how all this story, what happened there. If you see the book of Daniel chapter 6, we saw how Daniel was put in as a governor. Amen. And many people were also choosing to work with him and under him. But before he, was that, he entered that governorship, the Bible say all he was doing where he was being fixed in that job, he do it perfectly. He do it with the fear of God, though he was working for a man. Hallelujah. Before I go for the story, I want you, brothers and sisters in the Lord, whatever you are doing, do it with your sincerity. The sincerity that God, you, you emulate from God Almighty. Don't have a double face. Don't cheat. Hallelujah. Don't oppress people. The Bible said before this governor, this position that Daniel was given to him to rule there as a governor, that he humbled himself. He was working perfectly. He never played games with his work. So I'm here to use this area to also encourage us. Whatever we are doing, whatever our hand finding to do, let us do it with all our mind. It is in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, verse 10. Amen. Or chapter 10, verse 9. If you go to 9, 10, you don't find you go to 10, 9. Amen, somebody. So I'm here to encourage us that whatever we are doing, let us do it with. But when these people saw now that Daniel was doing it, they were not planning on how to get hold of him so that he would die. Amen, somebody. But Daniel did not give up. I want to give you a homework. 
to go and read the book of Daniel chapter 6. All these are common verses. Enemies are there 24 hours. You are working, oh, they are envying you. They are not the one working in it for you. They are not the one that put you there. But because they see you going up, they know testimony will come, a breakthrough will come. You will not be the head. You will not be a beggar. Hallelujah. God has given you that blessing, that gift to see money, to be feeding, to do whatever you want to do or take care of yourself and your family. Enemies of progress, they are everywhere. You can also find them in the house of God. When you are doing something in the house of God, like Daniel did here now, they will be envying you. Sometimes maybe you want to be a choir master or you want to be in a, in a, in a singing department. You also want to be an usher. You take care of the children. You have the time. You want to do all. They can even confront you. Even the head of that denomination can say, what is it? How can you just put all your, occupy every area? I'm not talking of all churches, but I believe some denominations from there they will be looking on how to make sure they forge an allegation on you as they did to Daniel here in the book of Daniel chapter 6. Amen, somebody. I want you to be sober, to be vigilant, to be prayerful. There are such people. If you go ahead, if you read the book of where I read before I pray in Psalm 56, if you read the verse 8, he said, I mean the verse 7, he said, punish them, O God, for their evil. Defeat those people in your anger. Because they are not doing something that is pleasing to God. Somebody is doing something that is right, but there are people out there that are jealous of such people. They are not planning on how to bring them down. Daniel saw it. Jeremiah saw it because he was saying the truth today. What they are doing is not good. This is not how God said we should do. They were not planning on how to use their own self. -will. They know very well that it is from God Almighty. That word is coming from to correct it. That word, even. Jeremiah was delivering to them. They knew it, it is God Almighty that sent that message to them. But yet, they ignore God. Such people, you yourself, if you are not focused, if you are not vigilant to tell God to bring them to justice, to hasten and bring them to justice, to scatter all their evil plans, you will see them, they will succeed in overpowering you. And if they stop you from doing all those things, you will not receive from blessings from God. If you are not careful, they will kill you before your time, all timely death. It's never our portion. Such people, let us begin to be at our, let us begin to pray to God Almighty that God Almighty will pull their stronghold down. God Almighty will make all their plans to be radical. God Almighty will make such people like a hit offer in our midst to be brought to justice. They will go and hang themselves in Jesus' name so that you can accomplish the mission of God upon your life and the blessing will be passed to your fourth generation. Hallelujah, somebody. Also, it happened to Daniel here in the book of Daniel chapter 6 where he was working with his colleagues. He was put in there as a governor. The Bible said they were jealous of him. They conspired against him and they succeeded. But if not God Almighty that was with Daniel, they would have finished Daniel in that fire that he was thrown into. Amen, somebody. I'm moving on. I want you to go and read Daniel chapter 6. I'm just here to use these things to enlighten you, to bring you back to your senses. Are you a child of God? How are you serious with the things of God? Did you pray? Are you a prayerful Christian? Did you sometimes say, I want to fast, to seek the face of God, to renew my spiritual strength so that you can be focused? Hallelujah. You can be, a, you can be at a last when you are prayerful, when you are focused. When you sometimes you say, hold on to praying and fasting. Hallelujah, somebody. When an enemy is trying something there, as the book of Psalm 56, where we read from verse 5, says that in verse 6 said, they are there. They are in the hiding place. Those are monitoring spirits. They are there as a satellite. They can be found as a witchcraft. They can be there sending people to monitor you. They can put a mirror in a spiritual ray to be watching you. If they are seeing any progress coming upon in your life coming to you, they will want to quench it. They will use so many things to make sure they succeed in quenching it. I don't know why they are doing it. Because they have that spirit that is in there as evil. 
You have to pray to God for such enemy, for God to bring them to justice quickly. For God to pour his fire on them. Let them not succeed in planning such a coup upon your life, upon your brethren's life in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm here to encourage you. Don't say you are a child of God, that the enemy cannot do you anything. You have to stand and follow principles of God. You need to have time to be fasting and pray. Don't wait for the time the man of God, the woman of God will schedule in your church where you are fellowshipping. That this is the time we have to fast and pray. Sometimes, some churches, they don't fast and pray until maybe interval of six months. But you have to try once a week or twice to hold fasting. Three days, sometimes one week. Try it and do it. Began to see the glory of God, the manifestation. You began to receive, receive an alert from all corners. Whatever people are doing that is not good concerning you, God will give you a signal. God must show it to you the way you will understand. Then you go on prayer. Fire there. Put all their strong go down in the mighty name of Jesus. We are moving on because I've just spent 25 minutes now. I want to give you a clue as a child of God. Fear not. Meditate on the word. Begin to pray. Seek the face of God. Don't put your leg in one in the house of God and put your leg one outside. Be real. Don't have a double face. If really you want all these things to work for you as a child of God, you need to be always sober and vigilant as a child of God. Amen, somebody. We are moving on. Amen, somebody. We all know in the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 12, if you read from verses 1 down there, I'm not going to read it. I want to give you a quotation. You can write them down and go and read it on yourself. Amen, somebody. The Bible says here, we saw how a man called King Herod is an enemy of progress. We are seeing many Herod in the house of God today. It does not mean those days Herod was not among the believer's side. They hate the believer. There are so many people that are worse more than a hero in the house of God today. They are there for an assignment. They are from the demonic world. When they see you are moving up, they go to their demonic meeting to pull you down. If you are not strong enough, if you are not prayerful enough, if you don't seek the face of God always, they will make sure they quench you. That thing you want to do, that God are putting your hand, the calling of God upon your hand in that ministry of God, you can never finish them. And when you finish then that blessing will flow to your generation. But when you allow enemy to quench it and kill you, your generation might not have any reward as a blessing. So you need to be vigilant. You need to be focused. You need to pay attention to the things of God. You need to always use the book of Psalm 21 verses 1 and 2. That I always look unto heaven where my help cometh from. My help cometh from God. You need to stick to the word of God. Amen, somebody. Don't just say because people are doing any high the house of God. Nobody is asking them because we are living under his grace, under the blessings of God that you have to do. No, you have to withdraw from those things and focus. Be holy. So that God present can always be seen in, in, in your life. And people around you, they will also tap from that blessing. Amen, somebody. We see in the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 12, where James was being killed by King Herod. These were the great people that said they are children of God, they are the ministers of God, they are the apostles of God, they are the prophets of God. But they were killed easily cheap. Amen. Why? Because the children of God were not prayerful. But when he arrested Peter, when he was about to kill Peter, the Bible says some people, some group of people in the house of God, that is what I want you to do. The book of Proverbs 27, 17 says, Iron sharpened iron. Look for a brother, look for a sister in the house of God where you fellowship. Have prayer together once a week. Find where they are praying. A group of prayer warriors, join them. Be an intercessor. As you intercede for people, God will roll every matter out of your way. Any arrow coming to you, God will return it back to sender. Amen, somebody. The Bible said they gathered and they prayed. What happened? Angel was sent from heaven to come and deliver Peter out of that prison. I pray for you this hour as you watch this one word of God, that God Almighty will deliver you from every predicament. Whatever that has hold you in bondage, I stand by the word of God to break that chain to pieces. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 24, verse 14 and 15, it said, no, Isaiah 44, verse 24 and 25, it said he will make all the words of the kings to be radical. These people, they think they are the king, they are the alpha and omega because they have that demonic power in them. They are in the house of God, they are in your family, they are in your working place, wherever you go, they are everywhere. But take those that are focused, that are favorite in the spirit, that we know, notice such a thing in the individual and quickly use prayer to, to enrage them to the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. They gather together and pray. 
Heaven was being destroyed with their prayer. The Bible said an angel was sent from heaven. Hallelujah, somebody, to deliver Peter from that predicament. From that chain, that prison, he was being delivered. I don't know whom you are. I don't know how serious is your prayer life. Are you prayerful? Are you a prayerful child of God? I'm here to enlighten you, to quicken your spirit, to tell God to pour his fire on you, that you are hungry of him. Tell God to quicken your spirit. Some people, they will throw sleeping sickness on them. Some people eat anyhow like gluten. But I'm here to encourage you. Whatever is making you to weak, desert from it. Suffer this your body so that you can make heaven. So that enemy will never kill you before your time. They will not stop you from receiving the glory of God. Not passing that glory to your future generation. They are everywhere. They are enemies of progress. They are pretending. They will stop that. They will make sure. They, they, they destroy your reputation. They are enemies of progress. Hallelujah, somebody. They celebrate with you. They eat with you. You won't know them. But it takes those that are prayerful. It takes those that are focused. It takes those that are with, in having the Spirit of God, that are filled with the Spirit to recognize such people that is with them. They are not far from you. They are, they are within you. They are your best friends. But these are the enemies of progress. They will spoil your reputation. They don't want you to go ahead to have that testimony. Let me read the book of Lamentation again for you to see them. Lamentation chapter 2. I want you to write it down. Verse 16. It says, all your enemies, your plural, all your enemies mock you. They are mocking you. and They are your friend, best friend. They can be your mother, your father, but it takes those that is in the spirit, those that connect with God, those that always seek the face of God, those that doesn't want to, 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 to contaminate their spiritual life. It takes those such people to understand who is their friend in the house of God, in their family background, where they are working, wherever they go. Those people that are closer to you, they monitor you, they know who you are. When you are going high, they want to bring you down. Many ministries today, they are not moving ahead. It is among the members of the church. But if you are not prayerful as a man of God, if you are not prayerful as a woman of God, if you are not prayerful as a council in the church of God, are you, are you, are, are you a, a choir master, a choir minister in the children's department? Continue to take it upon yourself on your own differently. Don't wait for the church. Continue to pray for whatever God has put in your hand. For enemy not to destroy it. God can enemy can use among the members there to destroy what God has put in your hand. People will think you don't know how to handle the things of God. Well. We need to be vigilant and be sober. They are there like a lion. They are rolling around. Look at it. He said, all your enemies mock you. Where are your enemies? Are they far? Is it not people around you? It is those around you that move with you, that know whom you are. They are there to finish, to chatter your dreams and reputation. But I pray as you hear this one word from God, you will hold on to your faith and begin to do the necessary thing at the appropriate time. So that whenever anything ne negative is coming on your way, you will receive a signal through the power of the Holy Spirit, Holy God, labor again in you, you will know. And you began to pray and use prayer to destroy all the activities. It will not hold. They will begin to miscarry. As you began to pray, any mission they embark on that they want to send as an errand. As you stand to feed that gap for your brothers and sisters. And as you pray also for yourself and your family. Any mission they are going, all will miscarry. God will render all impotent in the name of Jesus. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. He said, they shake all your enemy mock you and glare at you with you. Hate. They call their lips and snare. We have destroyed it. This is the day we have been waiting for. And I pray it will never be your portion. Hallelujah. Amen. Enemies were happy for the children of God here because they did not stand where. God turned back at them and the enemy see an opportunity to invade them and began to deal with them. Are you a child of God? How often are you praying? How often are you fasting and praying? How is your life? Examine your life, the way you are living. Are you studying the Bible to know the error you are making in your daily life? Tell God to, to help you. One a time at a day for God to help you. Anything you are seeing that is not good in you, tell God to remove them out of your life. This is still the same God. He will do it. If he can do it in the, in the life of the children of God, in the scripture, God will also do it for you. He said, ask and it shall be given. Tell God to remove those things that is not part of God in your life. That will not make the Holy Spirit to flow in you. Tell God to remove them from you. We are, we are, we are serving a God that is not deaf. He said in Isaiah chapter 59 verse 1 and 2. He said, my ears are not deaf. Or my hands are shutting. Not to receive from you. He said, because it is because of your iniquity. Sometimes we are praying. We don't know our prayer will not heal silly. 
not to talk of going to heaven. And the enemy will use this as a great opportunity to invade our compound. I pray as you hear this one word from God. Anything that will make the enemy to invade you, I command all you to receive a signal and a laugh from God Almighty, from heaven, in the mighty name of Jesus, so that you can stand on your feet and begin to rebuke and reject them because they don't have a foundation. Amen, somebody. Praise Master Jesus. We are going ahead. We can even see in the book of Genesis chapter 4, we saw Cain and Abel. Everybody knows this story. The same father, the same mother. Your enemy, they are within you. They are not for somebody that is found and who doesn't know how I'm living. How will they plan an evil against me or my against my household? Amen. All these enemies of progress, they are within our household, our neighborhood, in our society, our congregation. They are the children of God. They are from your compound, your family. Amen. They don't want to see you moving high. They don't want to see you progressing. Hallelujah, somebody. Praise Master Jesus. I am here to use this little word of exhortation to encourage us for we to be sober, for we to be vigilant. We saw how Cain and Abel, just because God refused the brother, accept the brother's sacrifice. The Bible said, Cain planned and, and, and killed the junior one. Hallelujah, somebody. And it is still happening in our society today. Amen, somebody. Who is that your brother in the house of God? Who is that your sister in the house of God? In your community, in your working place, they are everywhere. They don't want to see you moving ahead. Let me take an example for this K.O. and A.B.O. In the house of God, as I initially said, when they see you, God has really blessed you, you have time for the things of God. They began to report you to the men and women of God. They are there to gossip you, find a fault, any little thing, you are finished. They are there to destroy you. Physically, you might be living. I know K was key physically, but some people will destroy you spiritually, make you not to move ahead, do things that will make you to be provoked. That is why we need to pray for God to give us the spirit of patience, for we to have the spirit of perseverance, so that the devil will flee. Hallelujah, somebody. So I'm here to use all these things to encourage us. All these people, they are people that you are moving with. They are the enemies of progress. They don't want to see anything good come out of you. They don't want to see you handling those things that God has put into you as potentials. They are envy you. They are jealousy you. They use this their tongue to assassinate you. They will make sure they finish you in the house of God, in your family background, everywhere. You are moving or climbing. They want to pull you down. They do it to the extent you get provoked and leave. But when you are prayerful, you are focused. God will give them a job. God will scatter their plan. God will pull all their strongholds down. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 1 and 5, he will use that scripture, using need to pull down every strong, every imagination of the enemy. You pull them down with the word of God. The word of God cannot go back to God void. void. It has come to accomplish. We need to study the scripture, beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord, so that we can be using them to destroy the forces of darkness, the mission the enemy are banking on upon our individual life. When we stand and, and pray such a prayer, you will see they will render impotent. All their messages will go impotent. They will not succeed in carrying them out successfully in the name of Jesus. What did Isaiah 7, 7 say? He said it can never stand, it cannot hold the words of darkness in your life. Is it not when you are prayerful? Is it not when you, 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 the word of God uh, in the book of Isaiah chapter 54 verse 15 said surely they will gather but if not by me that is the word of God we not hold. Is it not when you are carrying the presence of God those things we not hold? Is it going to hold with a canal spirit you are carrying? That is why you must hold on to the word of God. Let people offend you. Be prayerful. Tell God to give you the spirit of patience and perseverance. Amen. So that Christ in you can be the hope of your glory. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, I wrote so many things here. I even wrote of uh, Stephen in the book of Acts of Apostles chapter 9. In the synagogue where he fellowship, where he worshiped, he was chosen among the seven to be taken care of those that are quarreling among the uh, Greek Jews and the Hebrew Jews. People among the synagogue, go and read the book of Acts of Apostles chapter 9. What is happening in our society today? Is he not see the same thing? They envy him because the, 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 the gift God put in him, he was able to use it in a successful way, healing people, performing miracles. They conspired against him. That is how he was stoned to death. They made sure they cut off his life journey. They put him to death immediately. 
But I pray as you hear this one word from, of God from me, that your mission for the ministry you have been called, your mission on this earth, a human being like you can never, you know, cut it short in the name of Jesus. Go for the word of God. The word of God is here. Amen. I want you to be prayerful that whatever the enemy are planning against you, against your whole household, against your neighborhood, because God said we should love our neighbor as ourselves. As many that are the children of God, whether they are missionaries in the war zone, that God Almighty should make their enemy turn back at them. Enemy will not take their life. They will not choose their life and cut it short on them. In the name of Jesus. As you do this, the enemy will turn back at you. In the book of Exodus chapter 23 verse 27, the Bible says, God wrote there, he will make your enemy to turn back at you. Is it not when you stick to the word of God? Is it not when you are focused, you are prayerful, you are at alert, that you will receive a signal, begin to use prayer to disconnect all their plans they are planning against you and your household. Amen, somebody. So we need to be focused. We need to always be prayerful. We need to be sober and vigilant as a child of God. He goes on the baba. Hey, Borogo, Zenderebo, we need to be focused. Many of us today, we are not focused. We do it anyhow. We are not receiving a signal. We are not receiving an alert. That is why the enemy are getting hold of us. Even we, many of us, we are the head in the house of God. But we do something sometimes abnormal. We are not receiving a signal from the Holy Spirit because we are not focusing. We are not prayerful. We do it anyhow. We cannot serve God with a carnal spirit. We need to be spiritually at alert. We need to be favored in the spirit. Amen. So that we can manifest in whatever we are doing. Whatever God has sent us to come and do in this life. Whatever God has given us as a, in the ministry go, where God has called us. Anything he has put in our hand to do as a job for him. In, in our calling into the ministry that he wants us to serve for him. If we are not prayerful, if we are not sincere, if we are not standing upright, if we are not maybe sometimes fasting and praying, we will not reach that goal, receiving that expected hand. He said, the thought I have for my children, they are the thought of good. It's not for evil to reach a good expected end. Sometimes we are praying for something for we to get here. We are not getting here. We are waiting for, say God will do it. No way. Our action, God is a God of action. When he sees your, 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 your submissive to his rules and regulations, God is there to answer you quickly. I'm telling you, whatever the daughter say, God will prove himself to you that he's the God of ear and amen. He's the God that answered by fire. The God that answered prayer quick. Amen. It is because of our iniquity. We need to be sober and vigilant. Hallelujah, somebody. An enemy, did they not come to say to Jehoshaphat in the book of 2 Chronicles 20, 20, that they are coming to deal with the Amorites, all those five nations, to deal with Jehoshaphat and his people. Jehoshaphat prayed and fast, as I initially said, God used a small boy, the, the grandson of Zechariah, the Levite, to say he will hold the battle is for him, God. Because they called God. They, 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 they put the matter into the hands of God. Today we are running sketch. We are running after a miracle. We don't know whether those people, they are using fake powers. We don't know because we are not spiritually at our last. We don't have that great faith in God. We are not exercising that power of God that is in us. Hallelujah, somebody. We need to exercise that power of God that is in us. So that we can see the glory of God. We can see a story in the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 16, concerning Paul and Silas as they were doing the work of God, evangelizing work. The Bible said there was a little girl that a demon was using to possess a, 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 her possession, their possession. She was saying the writing bread from the wrong, from the wrong uh, aspect of life. It was not from God Almighty. So when, when Paul stopped him, rebuke him, and that spirit left her. The Bible said the people that were using her to make money, they conspired against these brothers. But what happened? They were focused. They set a time to pray and, and, and began to sing praises to God. What happened? The Bible said an angel came to deliver them as just the same thing that happened in the time of Peter. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, I have so many examples here. I have to pause it now because I'm already in a... Uh, 43 minutes. I don't like using much time. Let me quickly give that of Akitofe. In the book of 2 Samuel chapter 16, verses 7, chapter 16, chapter 17, chapter 18. Go and read these three chapters. In the book of 2 Samuel, a man called Akitofe was a right 
hand man to King David. He was the one that King David chose to be advising him as his advisor, closer to him. Do you know what happened? When, when Absalom, the son of David, want to weigh war against his father in order to kill the father and enthrone his father's position, the Bible said this very right hand man with David started lying to Absalom, tell him to go and make love with the fathers or the wife, the father married and their concubine, which the, the son really did. This is somebody that they call a son. You can have some people today, you call them your friends. You will think this is your friend. You are telling them concerning your husband, your children, your mother, your father issue. The next thing they will go on your back to destroy it. They will make everywhere to be chaos, chaotic. And you will not see peace again in your home, in your, in your working place, in the house of God where you are fellowship. There are so many character we have here. We are going to pray that God Almighty should help us any kind of character of this creature that people are having in the house of God where you are fellowshipping, in the family where you came from, where you are working, in the society, wherever you go, that God Almighty should command them to go and hang themselves. The Bible says, Ahitophel, when David pronounced, when David discovered that Ahitophel, that he is the one putting all this problem, if he does not act fast, Ahitophel will make sure they kill him. And this is a best man, a right man to King David. Now he was between a father and a son. It is still happening in our society. I pray for you this day, this hour, that in the mighty name of Jesus, every spirit of Ahitophel, in the house of God where you are fellowshipping, in your family background, in your marriage, in your business, in your working place, in your head, in your progress, in every area of your life that God said he made you to be a successor, that enemy want to make you a loser. They want to put a leakage in your pocket. They want to throw arrow of evil, negative, that will give you pain and sorrow to you i pray and i decree in the name of jesus that those people they will go and hang themselves as Akitofer did amen somebody praise the lord brothers and sisters in the lord i want you to be a prayerful man of god I want to be a prayerful woman of god a prayerful child of god when you are not prayerful enemy will get hold of you i want you to rewind this video clip go and over and over it again see all these scriptures go and read them hallelujah you need to bring yourself down Humble yourself. Don't have the spirit of self will Don't have the spirit of pride. All these things will not make your prayer to be answered because the enemies are fighting against your progress. I pray for you this hour once again. As you hear this one word from God, that God Almighty will open your mind as he opened the mind of Abigail. I mean, I, um, uh, what is this lady in the book of Acts of Apostles chapter 16? Her name has escaped me. The Bible said when the men of God were there, the Bible said God opened her mind to receive the word of God. As you hear this one word from God, I pray that God Almighty will open your mind to receive the word of salvation. To receive it in a full way that you will not receive it in a half way. In the name of Jesus, I, re I command you. That the power of God will, I command the power of God from heaven to rest upon you this hour. As you hear this one word from God, that the word of God will pierce in you, will destroy whatever that is not of God out of your life. In the name of Jesus, I set you loose, I set you free. Any chain the enemy have used to tie you, whatever they have used to tie you as a rope, any bottle they have locked you, I command such a bottle to be broken. In the name of Jesus, I command that rope to be cut. In the name of Jesus, I command that chain to be broken. In the name of Jesus, I pray that that all the enemy has stolen from you and your family and your generation and your beloved brothers and sisters in the all over the world. The word of God said in the book of Joel chapter 225 that he will restore all the cankerous and caterpillars stolen. I use that word in Joel 225 to restore. The word of God cannot go back to evil. It has come to accomplish. To restore all the cankerous, all the caterpillars have stolen from you in the mighty name of Jesus. I say be favorite in the spirit. Remain blessed in Jesus name. Share this video clip. And if I were you, I will subscribe and I will encourage those that I send this message to after watching it to also subscribe so that whenever I'm giving a message, you can easily receive it immediately. Remain blessed because I'll spend almost 15 minutes until I come your way again. I say keep on bouncing in the Lord for in Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. Bye-bye. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen.